a little tricky to see, but who has seen this painting before? Yeah, a lot of you have, a lot of you have. So we're looking at a pretty familiar site from the 19th century. This is John Gast's 1872 painting, American Progress. You probably saw this in your textbooks in high school and things like that. And this was a print that was widely disseminated in the 1800s. Americans would have been really familiar with this image, um, but it was also a pretty loaded image. So let's take a minute and try to tease out what we can glean from the picture that you see behind me here. What's, what's going on in this image? What do you see? Elizabeth. It's almost like the uh, angelic figure is bringing light to the land that hasn't yet been um, settled by like Americans coming west and that as they move towards the western region it's almost like an enlightenment and um, like a period of knowledge coming to the west by these people moving there. Yeah, yeah. What else can we say about this picture? Yes. Oh, uh, we can see on the like, far uh, side of the picture the Native Americans keep being pushed farther and farther like away from the people moving forward. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Other things that we notice in this image. Yeah. Building off of the transportation point, we see boats in the far ground, we see some trains as well. And that goes with the notion that instead of just being on the East Coast, now you're able to move towards the West and Midwest as a whole. Yeah, absolutely. So there's one way to read this image as sort of this, this forward motion of progress, the westward movement of progress. And indeed, in the 19th century, many people did read it as such. The figure of Columbia dressed in her classical outfit, carrying a school book in her arm, and a telegraph wire in her other hand is pulling progress across the country towards the West, pushing indigenous peoples out of the way as she goes. But there's another way to look at this picture, and it's one of um, urban growth and change. Anybody notice where the cities are in this picture? Can you see it? It might be a little tricky to see. In the top corner up here, we've got, yes, Mitch. Um, in the east. Yeah, so they're on the east. We've got New York in the background. We've got this growing metropolis in the background, and there's this sense that all of this progress is emanating from this urban place. All right, so we have this image in our minds of a nation in motion, a society in motion. And from the 1830s to the 1850s, the market revolution and the resulting urban changes had produced an American landscape that people described as energetic, materialistic, and seemingly constantly on the move. And these transformations were particularly apparent to outsiders and visitors, folks like Alexis de Tocqueville, who commented on the manners of Americans, and he said, each member of the community severs from the mass of his follows to draw apart with his family and friends, leaving society at large to itself. So we've seen that economic and social transformations happening in urban areas are pushing people across the class spectrum to reconsider their relationships to cities, but also to each other. 